Hello, I'm Rebecca Flaherty and this is another geometric pattern tutorial we've got for you this week. We're going to be making this cool circle pattern here in Procreate. To start off, you're going to need a 12 inch or 3600 3, pixel square canvas at 300 dpi and then you'll have the same dimensions and measurements that I'll be using as I go along. If you're used to Procreate, you've made patterns before and you know how to do things like snapping and transforming, this should be a fairly easy tutorial to follow along with, even though it does have quite a few steps but as long as you follow along with me and use the same dimensions that I do, you should be fine though. It's absolutely perfect for things like making wallpapers, um, just sharing for fun on social media or backgrounds for posts. There's no reason that you can't sell the pattern you make somewhere like Spoonflower if you're happy with the overall quality of it, but it's the thing you really need to zoom in and check and make sure that you're happy with the resolution and accuracy of it. Mostly, I just want to share this tutorial with you because it's so much fun to make. I love experimenting on Procreate and thinking different ways to use the snapping to be able to make new types of patterns just like this. It's a really good workout for your brain. It helps you come up with more ideas and where you could use this to make patterns in Procreate. And you'll definitely pick up some concepts here which you can use in other patterns. So let's get started. We're going to start by filling this layer with a colour. I'm going to go for this nice bright orange. So we'll fill this layer. I'm going to turn this layer off for now. I'm going to add a layer above and I'm going to grab pink and the hard air brush that comes with Procreate. And I just want to draw the biggest circle as I can that goes almost all the way to the edges, not quite over the edges. I'm going to start somewhere like this, hold, tap the screen, and that will snap to a perfect circle for us. And I'm going to fill that circle with colour. So what we want to do now is tap to transform, I'll centre it on the canvas, I've got snapping and magnetics on, so that's centred on the canvas and I'm going to tap fit to canvas. So that's going to expand that, so that circle now is 3600 pixels wide. Anytime you make pixels bigger you lose a tiny bit of image quality. We've only made it a tiny bit bigger so it's not going to be a problem and actually we're going to be making this smaller again when we come to put the pattern together. So it's all going to work out okay in the end. So now we've got this circle which is 3600 pixels wide. So if we zoom right up to the edge you can see it does go all the way to the edge but because we um, transformed it and I said about image quality We've got this, the very edge of this is semi-transparent. To bring that opacity back up and have it fully opaque all the way to the edges, what we want to do is to duplicate this circle several times until we knock out that transparency. And you'll see that should work in these corners as well. doesn't matter if we've got some bits there, that's going to be fine. So then we can pinch to merge all of those together and we've got this nice fully opaque circle. So what we want to do, I want to put half of the circle over this side and half of the circle over that side. So we're going to duplicate this, tap to transform, and we're going to snap half of it over here and we're going to snap the other half over there. And then if we zoom in, you'll see they just meet nicely in the middle there. Then we can pinch those two together we tap to transform, you'll see the dimensions of this are the full height and width of the canvas at 3600 pixels. I'm going to turn my orange layer back on now and I'm going to add another layer above it and fill this one with white. And I'm going to duplicate these circles. I'm going to group one lot of the circles and the white together and I'm going to group the orange and the other pink circles together. So now we've got one group that's orange and pink and another group that's orange and white. I want to change the size for both of these. So I'm going to swipe on both of these, tap to transform, tap up here, and I want to change the width and height to 1,200 pixels. I'm going to turn the drawing guide on. And I've got my drawing guide at 600 pixels. So we can see the edges of the where these snap to. We zoom in there you can see that that's snapped nicely into position there. The reason I don't have it at 1200 is it doesn't line up properly with the edge there because there's three repeats of these across. So the last one is split off the edges rather than being in the middle. So by making it 600 pixels, then we're going to get these lines where we want them. So we can tap done on that and I'm going to hide the white one for now. 
and I'm going to start down here in the bottom corner and I'm going to bring this one and snap it down there into the corner and then we can turn that, that one on. So I'm going to make these outside corners are going to be orange background and then the other ones are going to be the white background. So to start with I'm just going to get all of these orange ones into position and then we'll do some rotating. So I'm just duplicating the whole group. Okay, we'll do move that one from there. Every time you move these, you need to be looking for these orange lines to make sure they're snapping into place properly. And then this pink one, let's move that across to there. And then I've been checking out for the orange lines, but I'm also going to do that thing of zooming in here and just making sure everything looks nice and straight along these edges. So once we've got all our circles in like that, we can then rotate these around to get that funky kind of offset look. So I'm going to start with, it's difficult telling what's what now, I want to start with this one up in the corner and I'm going to rotate this one around 90 degrees. Just zoom in there to make sure that looks okay. This one I'm going to keep up that way and this one I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. Let's find that one. That one there so we'll tap to transform and we'll rotate this one 90 degrees and then for the white ones i'm going to rotate this one and this one 90 degrees so we just need to find those two there's one there take that 90 that one there rotate that 90 degrees and that is essentially our finished pattern tile you can turn the drawing guide off now and you can zoom in and just make sure everything's nicely lined up here. And that is our finished pattern tile. So you could export that as a pattern tile to use. Let's check it in repeat first though. Let's swipe down with three fingers to copy all. I'm also going to put all of these in one big group and hide them. If you're running out of layers, you could always come out into the gallery, duplicate your canvas and then flatten those and then start working on top of it. Let's swipe down and paste and see how this is looking in repeat. Let's duplicate that over there. Pinch those two together and duplicate and drag that down there. So that's how this is looking in repeat. We zoom into the middle. You can see that's all nicely lining up there along that edge and along this middle edge there. There are a couple of other fun things you can do with this though. If we hide that layer there, I'm going to turn my layers back on, swipe down and I'm going to paste that in again. This is on top. And if we drag that up and snap that into the middle there, so you've got 1800 pixels, and then duplicate it and drag it down and snap it into this corner, it lines up really nicely with the main pattern underneath. So this, these, this is our layers. These two line up really nicely with that. And actually that in itself makes a really cool pattern tile. So what you could do is swipe down to copy all, swipe down again and tap paste. And then you can put this in repeat and you've got that really cool pattern there. So if you wanted to have that as your pattern, you'd export this as your pattern tile. But if you wanted that as your pattern and you would export this as your pattern tile. So as you can see there's like loads of different options. You could even do something like like mess around even further and do funky things like that if you wanted to. As I said the options are endless with this but it all starts with a square and a circle and a whole lot of snapping. So there we go there's our pattern in repeat there. I hope you've had fun watching me make this and that you're going to have a go at it yourself. If you make this and share it on Instagram, don't forget to tag me at Becky Flaherty so I can see it and share it in my stories. If you want more tutorials like this every week, you can follow me here on YouTube for those. If you want more in-depth courses, I've got those on Skillshare. And if you sign up with the link below, you can get 30 days for free when you join. Have fun, stay creative, and I will see you next time.